Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Linksys WRT-AC router which is a high-end router and in this video we'll be looking at the admin interface of this router. And the first thing you do is to log into your admin panel. Uh, there are actually two ways to do it. You can directly enter the IP address of your router. For example, for me, it is uh, this one. Uh, but if you don't uh, know the IP address of your router, uh, it's also very simple. Just go to this link that is and if you are connected to internet, this will work. Uh, links is smartwifi.com and I'll show you with that. Just hit enter and it should log on. I was already logged on. That's why it did not ask me the password. Otherwise, it will ask you the admin password. Uh, so by default, this is the interface. And I have to say still this uh, firmware on this WRT1900AC, it does not offer a lot of functionality compared to some other high-end uh, uh, Wi-Fi AC routers. Uh, but we do get this interesting thing called network map, which actually gives you an idea about your entire network, how many uh, devices are connected. Let me also show you. Here also we have this uh, widget and it's uh, saying that I have six local devices out of which two are on the 2.4 gigahertz span. And if you have devices on the five gigahertz span, we'll show you. Let us go back to this network map now. And here you can toggle, for example, this will show you only the devices that are connected uh, uh, via Ethernet. Uh, this you can toggle devices, for example, that are uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz band. Right now, I don't have anything on the 5 uh, gigahertz band, as you can see. So this way you can toggle between the devices and gives you an overview actually. Also, if you have the guest network enabled, yes, this WRT1900AC has guest network both on the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz band. And if you have guest clients connected, that will show over here. So this network map is an interesting uh, thing. And uh, we also have the internet usage, but I don't find this one actually very interesting because and as you can see, it's just showing us 0 megabits and it just shows you the current bandwidth that you are using, not something like what you have used for the last 24 hours or 30 days or something like that. We also get the speed test using which uh, it can uh, test your internet speed. Uh, let me show you. It's very simple. And you just hit this uh, begin and now it'll uh, check your internet speed. As you can see, uh, I'm on a fairly fast internet connection and it's showing me download speed of 75 megabits. Upload, I don't know why it's showing me very less, but I do get upload speeds of about 45 to 55 megabit. So it's not hugely accurate, I would say. Let's get out of this one. Uh, second thing is guest access. And as you can see, we can enable guest access for both the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz band. And you can also uh, set the password over here. And we can also limit the number of guests that are allowed on your network. For example, five is the minimum and the max is up to 50 guests. So it works actually pretty well. Next, if we come to the parental controls, here all the devices that we have used will be listed and we can enable parental controls. For example, let's say on my MacBook Air, I want to block the internet access at specific times. I can do that. You can just hit this edit and now I can easily edit it. So for example, I'll do it never. So we do have parental controls on this router. This will be useful if you have kids and they abuse the internet. So it's a good option to have this one. Let me switch that off. And we also have media prioritization. I haven't enabled this. You can switch it on. And again, it will list all the uh, devices that you have here. And now, for example, I can just drag this one, my Mac mini and uh, I can set the uh, priority it to be the highest. You also have a few application specific priority. If you know, the, uh, if, for example, if you want to give Skype uh, uh, the priority, you can do that. And uh, I use a lot of devices, uh, a minimum of six, seven are always connected and a max of about 20 also. Then also I didn't have to do it, but again, you can do it. And also you can give priority to online games here. I have tested this uh, Linksys router with both the PS4 and even an Xbox 360 and it is working fine. So we have media prioritization and here also we have further settings. So these are some of the settings. So let me get out. I'll switch this off. And the thing with this uh, admin interface is that as this is a pretty uh, powerful router, if you notice, everything just loads pretty quickly. And again, this is for the broadband test. Let's get out of this one. And uh, we can also attach external storage. This uh, router has two USB ports. Actually, one is a USB 3 and uh, another is a standard USB port and also eSATA combo. And you can attach external storage here and it will pop in over here. 
And if you have the companion app uh, that is on your mobile, the, the links is smart Wi-Fi, then you can even access the content that you have on the hard drive that you have attached over there. And you do get folder access, but again, uh, to make it work, you have to have a hard drive or a pen drive plugged into the router. So let me just plug in a USB thumb drive to the router now. And as you can see, I have attached a hard drive and now I can access it via the PC directly and I can also set it as a share. We can set up FTP if I want and also DLNA server is enabled. We also have folder access, for example, you can switch it on and now you can give uh, usernames and then give specific rights like read or write and you obviously need to enter a password. So that can be done, uh, secure folder access. We also have the FTP server and again, this is the DLNA server uh, that's known as the media server. So that's for the external storage. And the good thing about this router is that among the other Wi-Fi routers that I've tested, even the high end ones, the throughput speeds that you get on this WRT 1900AC Linksys router is exceptional. It's almost as close to a dedicated NAS. So external storage is a great option. And if you have some uh, extra hard drives lying around, particularly USB 3 or eSATA base, give it a try. Now coming to the router settings here, uh, we have first the connectivity option and here we have the basic settings. For example, you, uh, you can set your 2.4 gigahertz and your network name, etc. over here and you can edit it. For example, the both the 2.4 gigahertz band as well as the 5 gigahertz band. And also you can set the password for the main router password. You can also edit it over here. Uh, we can also check for the firmware, but I noticed that this check uh, for update does not always show you the updates. Uh, it's better to check with the Linksys uh, official website. I did find one uh, update and I had to manually apply that update. Uh, we also have internet settings over here. You can set up your internet settings. We can also change your local network, for example, and here you can set your primary IP address of your router and also enable or disable the DHCP server and the number of maximum number of users that you would like to be on your network. We also have advanced routing and uh, VLAN was added in the last firmware. Uh, it was not with the stock firmware and we also have the standard administrative options. But again, if you notice, not a lot of options are available. For example, in real time, what is the bandwidth being used, etc. is simply not there. And even uh, this uh, router does not even show me the uptime that is available. And we also have this troubleshooting uh, option over here but uh, luckily i didn't have to use it because the router has been working as uh, expected for the past three weeks uh, it never gave me dropped out connections or anything like that so in terms of wi-fi performance it has been rock solid at least for me so let me just get out of this one and here is the basic wireless tab again it gives you uh, the settings for both the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz band and you can set it for example uh, you can just set the network mode to only B, G or N. I would suggest that if you have just wireless N devices, keep it on wireless N. And uh, for, But for the 5 gigahertz band, I would suggest keep it on mixed. That's where I got the best performance. If you're getting a better performance with just A or N only, do let me know in the comment section. We also have Mac filtering and also WPS and I am using one WPS device actually I'm using a repeater that is configured using this WPS and it's been working as expected so it works pretty well. And the last tab is for security here you have basic security options that you can set uh, we also have uh, a demilitarized zone so you can give any IP on your uh, network unrestricted access and we also have uh, uh, DDNS and other settings that are available to you. But again, uh, I would like to see a lot more options. And yes, Linksys is improving the number of options uh, with every firmware. And uh, I expect that in the future updates of this uh, WRT 1900AC, we might see a lot more updates. And these are also kind of widgets which give you an idea about the router. Also, as I told you, we also have the app center. Again, I'll talk about this uh, and the smart Wi-Fi features. And I'll talk about the smart Wi-Fi features of this router using a mobile app. You can control the router. Uh, if you guys would like to see a video on that, do let me know in the comment section. So that's it for now for this quick look at the admin interface of this Linksys WRT 1900 Wi-Fi router.
router if you found this video helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button i've already done the unboxing video for this lensis router link for that video will be in the youtube show notes thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video